Hello and welcome to this week's video. This is a phone video and I am filming this a day after everything else was filmed. We just got back from an event in Seattle and it's like 4.30 and it's been a long day. Anyways, I just wanted to give a bit of background. I am a 9 to 5 nanny Monday through Thursday and Friday is generally a day off. And it's a day that I do a lot of other work, content creation for other pages. And right now I'm helping my husband with his work as well as starting my own small business. So there's a lot going on. So anyways, with that background, I'm just going to start telling you about my morning because I didn't film my morning. Friday mornings are my main morning of the week to take it slow. And so I decided not to film it. I normally get 10 to 12 hours of sleep Thursday night. And so Friday, I won't wake up until maybe 10.30, and I will drink some water and be on my phone for about half an hour doing just kind of fun stuff, just consuming media. I have a couple games I play on my phone, things like that. Normally around 11, Kyle will come in and give me a kiss, and we'll chat for a second, and that's always super sweet. Then I'm probably on my phone or on the laptop in bed for another half hour getting some work stuff done. I can do a lot of work on my phone. So after about half an hour of that, I will get up and get breakfast. I will sit down on the couch, which is where I do most of my work right now, and I will get my work basket and I'll normally start uploading whatever needs to be uploaded that day, and I will eat my breakfast and maybe watch a 20-minute show while I do that. And then my day has started. So yesterday I did put on makeup because I had a brand send me some makeup to use in a video, and so I wanted to try it out. After doing my makeup yesterday is when I started filming, and so I will roll that footage now. So like I said, on this particular day, I did put some makeup on to try out from a brand. I also filmed a video, just a little reel slash TikTok while I did that. Then it was time to head out. I have my trusty Me Solo booties. Discount code for those in the description. Before leaving, I just took a couple minutes to tidy up the car as one of the kids and I had been playing in it the other afternoon. I found this little desktop garbage in the Target dollar section of several months ago and I absolutely love it and I just have a little Velcro to stick it to the bottom of the car so it doesn't move around when driving. I then thought it was a good idea to talk with the candy in my mouth to tell you about this little safety car tool. It just has a seatbelt cutter and it helps you to break the windows if needed and it's really small, really handy and affordable so I will also have that linked in the description. I hope we never have to use them, but it's something that I like having in each of our cars. I only had two errands to run today. Normally I will actually have three or four, but today all I had to do was pick up some cheap photo prints that I got at Walgreens. I like to do this every few months for the kids so they can have physical pictures to look at. I also recently got us a album for four by six prints, and so I wanted to get some more prints for that from the past six months and also make sure that I had some prints to give in a Valentine's gift for the kids that I watch. I use Walgreens because it's nice to have same day pickup and it's only like 30 cents for a picture and I don't get that many. The only other errand I had to run that day was to fill the car up. We like to go to Costco and I also like to keep the car at half tank or above in case of emergencies. I had a bit of a not quite embarrassing little thing happen, but it was a silly moment where I did not get the trigger all the way pushed and I was pumping 13 gallons of gas at the slowest rate possible. It took me a while to realize what was going on. Then I thought that it was just the hose because there was lots of noises going on. Then I realized, nope called someone over and yes it was my fault so I just felt really bad that everyone was waiting for me and of course for the last like five minutes I kept on making eye contact with the guy behind me and telling him like we're almost there when we weren't. Anyways after getting gas I pulled into the parking lot to do a TikTok story time about what happened and then I came home to tidy up the kitchen a little bit. We often have to tidy our kitchen several times a day and lately I have been not adhering to the one touch rule, which is where instead of putting a dish in the sink after you use it, you put it directly in the dishwasher so you only have to touch it one time instead of multiple. Kyle has also recently entered his cooking era and so he's been doing a lot more kitchen chores that I have recently and so it was nice to help out. Next, I got to work assembling a little Valentine's gift for the kids that I watch. They are going to be on vacation during Valentine's and so I wanted to put a little gift together for them early. I just got a couple workbooks at the dollar store over the past couple months and then these little heart unicorn art projects also at the dollar store. 
I made them some very kid-like Valentines and got these printouts as you saw earlier so I sorted them to find which ones I wanted to give and which ones I wanted to keep for us as well as a couple I wanted to send to friends. I also made these little felt hearts that I sewed and I sewed initials onto them and I had one more to do so I hurried and did that and finished up the gift. I then realized that I actually needed to film a little Instagram reel with this little gift and so I took everything to the kitchen and did that. Unfortunately at this point it was time to sit down with my water tumbler from Package Free. I'll have a link and coupon code in the description and it was time to sit and do computer work for several hours. On this particular evening I had some things to do for Kyle's work, some research for my small business, and some people to reach out to regarding some customizations of products for my small business. Eventually it was time to wrap up. This is what I look like post computer work. I've got great big hair going on. My setup is lots of blankets, computer, my work basket which has notebooks, drives, cameras, and at this point an empty water tumbler that needs to be filled. At some point Kyle and I did eat dinner. He cooked and then it was time to shower. Normally Kyle and I will do our night routines together but on this particular evening I knew I needed to have a very long minute with myself. And so he probably did some power washing on the Xbox while I did a nice long skincare routine. I start off with Honest Beauty's Vitamin C. This is like my holy grail product. And then I followed with The Ordinary's Retinol and Squalene. I will have all these linked below along with discounts and coupons when I can. Last year I discovered Beekman 1502 and I love their products so much. This is their Bakuchio oil and seriously you need like two drops and it covers your entire face. I also used Hydrogel Cream by Honest Beauty. This is like my holy grail of holy grails and I also am a huge proponent for taking all your skincare products down your neck, chest, and the back of your hands. I love being so extra hydrated in the evenings. I also use a lot of facial tools, which I will spare you in this video, but I will have everything linked below. Does anyone else get so thirsty in the evenings, even if you drink well through the day? Anyways, after a shower, I need my teeth to be clean. Actually, I often brush the shower, but I also have to take my inhaler and then do a salt rinse because of my steroid inhaler. The daily salt water rinsing is nasty, but not as nasty as what would happen if I did not do it. Seriously, so parched in the evenings. One of the last things I do is dab on some oil perfume. This just helps me to really feel like myself and calm for the evening. At this point, I head into the bedroom. I take allergy medicine. I put out my pills for the next day, turn on the twinkle lights, and start pulling up something for Kyle and I to watch in bed together before we go to sleep. It's me again. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. This has been a fun little experiment to upload a few videos and see some nice growth. And I hope to have another dollhouse makeover short soon and then eventually upload a full YouTube video on the dollhouse. I also have a lot of other things going on this year and I'll probably do a video soon about the process of starting the small business and what that has been like. But that kind of depends on how things go timing wise. But anyways, thank you for being here. Be sure to follow on Instagram. Also be sure to check out my husband and I, our travel video. We just posted a video from when we were in Paris and it's just a fun time. So thank you for being here and I'll see you next time. Uh, uh.